Outlaw, Macho, Drive In. Commercials on my SmackDown. Uh, speaking of NWA, it's yes, commercials on my SmackDown also. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, speaking of NWA, NWA is building up their women's division. MLW is going to be doing one. ROH is building <laughs> up theirs. And, and ML, ML, MLW has been going to do one for like three years now. They have. Yeah, um, courts, court waiting for that check to clear, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> so this girl could land anywhere. I think AEW could... I think AEW needs a star like her. I think Impact is going to be a great spot as well. Um, Mercedes Martinez. Yep. I yeah. think she can pretty much land literally anywhere right now. Um, she might debut eight, in NWA too. They'd be a fool not to try to sign her for NWA. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Need... NWA needs a star yeah. like her because her versus yeah. Camille would be huge. That's what I was going to say. NWA needs a star like her and Camille is a threat. Yes. Mm-hmm. The most over NWA champion ever, yes. <laughs> Uh, whoa, 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 ever, uh, ever is like, you know, yeah, let's just ever say in pretty... the po- yeah, let's just say in the postmodern era. Yes, in the, in the, the current the, era. Sorry, the uh, current NWA. Of the current era, NWA, sorry. yeah, yeah, because once yes. you say ever, you go all the way back to Ric Flair and yes, yes, Sting and yeah. um, Rick Steamboat, you know. <laughs> I just, I just want to say, if I had a choice between Rick Steamboat, Rick Steiner, not Rick Steiner, sorry, Rick Flair, Rick Steiner, and Dusty which... Rose, and Camille. And Camille come in my house. I'm gonna go with Camille. <laughs> is he, is he? I mean... <laughs> it, it, it depends if you're gonna be oh. having a conversation or so, what. Oh yeah. So oh oh, I get it. So you're saying she's the most come on over t- <laughs> no. uh, champion no. in history. No, no, let's not. No, go I think come on over to my house. I think come on over to my house. Get your heads out of the gutter, you filthy, filthy <laughs> man. <laughs> we we'll can you. I'm sorry. Um, I Over think Mercedes. if Impaler win, winds up winning the ROH women's title, she could use a threat like Mercedes. Um, Diana could always use a new threat and impact. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Britt Baker could use a obviously could use a threat in AEW. So I, I think she could literally land in any promotion, and I think she has a bright. 20, Here's the, the messed up thing. 2022 head. Honestly, Here's the messed up thing. She might go to AEW because they did have her. Yeah, Not under yeah. contract. They was using her. They just didn't yeah. sign until they used her. They might. Back, yeah. no, but she was also in the Royal. Yeah, she, she did do some dynamite. She just wasn't under contract with them. This before Dark started. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. now I remember. I mean, like yeah. she got a huge pop at, uh, when she did the, the casino thing. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because she was the mystery. Because she was the mystery entrant or the ace. Which, by the way, apparently that's the kiss of death. Because no one in any version of the Casino Battle Raw has came out to the in that mystery spot, uh, mystery final person spot, and lasted in Mm -hmm. AEW or made an impact. (laughs) And I don't want to say I don't want to I don't want anyone to come at me with Matt Seidel. What what is Matt Seidel doing right now? Stop it. Hey, (laughs) hey, hey. That's what he was doing last time when he was in New Japan. <laughs> okay, That's exactly. how that was in New Japan? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. That's a we continue, Joe. Continue. Um, <laughs> next up is a guy who's very uh, close to our hearts here. Um, Kona Reeves. Yes. Who I, for people listening from Omaha... Shame on you motherfuckers for when NXT was last year in 2019. Um, it was him versus Damian Priest. He was still uh, wrestling as punishment at the time. Um, or No, he, was, he wasn't quite Damian Priest. He had a different name, whatever his name was, but the crowd was still ch- chanting punishment oh. towards him. But the entire arena, with the exception of a couple people... Were not just giving Kona Reeves heel heat, but they were giving him like they were calling him jobber. They were just being fucking complete assholes. Like they were like smarks trying to make themselves I get never, over by I mocking never, him. Uh, yeah, I honestly never understand people who's just you know 
chant jobber at the uh, at wrestler so it like dude yeah. you're, smart. You're, si- you're sitting there in the in, in, you're sitting there watching him uh-huh mm-hmm. exactly uh, like even if smarts. even if he is a jobber he's doing way better than you i mean like he, he matters yes. more than you exactly. do exactly yes exactly. yes mm-hmm. and the thing is when he at, at nxt will occasionally do that with like uh homegrown talent a lot of times they'll have like a vignette for him and put them on tv like no way jose or something but then you know they never really become big stars thing happened with him you know he got like a two-month push and then was pretty much and gone he did like a, just, a pop-up they, on they, NXT they, uk yeah they sacrificed him for the next big thing which i think was ec3 yeah and, i believe so and of course we all know how that how successful that turned out for them but yes mm-hmm. I I think Kona could possibly do strong for impact. Um and if, I could if actually see him in, signing with yeah. MLW. Yeah, if he if he stays, I don't know why I have a feeling that Kona's just gonna you know, put wrestling in the rear view mirror and I do too. I mean else. Yeah. I, 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 I um James and I were saying that um when uh, you're having technical difficulties that, you know, a lot of these guys might not necessarily land anywhere, um, you know, just in like a hypothetical situation. Yeah. I mean, like, I wish they, like, Ryback should start his own promotion, hire all these guys so they can all outshine him and be more over than he is. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Ryback, Ryback is going to MLW. He's going to debut. Watch. He's going to take out Fatu. Watch. And, and, well, and, 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 I mean. Somebody's I mean, going to be popping that you for say it. it. <laughs> Honestly, if Ryback ever does come back, MLW would be perfect for him. It would, yes. But he is—I think he is too in his own head that he would never—he would think that MLW is too beneath him to actually give them. Yeah, he'll, he'll, yeah. yeah, he'll turn it down, of course. But, of yeah. course, but that's Ryback for you. Yeah, that's Ryback for you. That could be mm-hmm. a new sitcom. That's Ryback, <laughs> <laughs> and um, he just. You know, the, every episode ends with him looking at the camera and just doing this, you know, the hands up, hands down movement. Yes. <laughs> I think if Kona wanted to stay in wrestling, yeah, I think Impact would be wonderful for him. Um, maybe even bring him. Uh, like I said, uh, everybody uh, on this honestly, list. Honestly, Kona, the world's your roster, Kona is pretty much an unknown at this point. Anywhere he goes yeah. is, is moving up. It's, it's exactly. pretty much a fresh start anywhere. Yeah. 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 And stuff like that. So. Anybody mm-hmm. on this list can probably make it somewhere and yeah. stuff like that. Question is, do we want to see more of their work? And I'll give Kona another chance and stuff like yeah. that. Maybe he can do Kona something. He can, wow, so he can uh, do something. Honestly, good. honestly, yeah. Kona can carry himself, and Kona is, does not lack charisma. I mean, like whatever no. small things we saw for him, he can he can give an interview. He can do a, little, a few things that are good. He can sell. He can make you know the other people like look like stars. Whoever is with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I so would, he can do his job. Yeah. I mean, I would. I would not be surprised to see him on a couple of darks before he goes anywhere for a steady. Here. And uh, for those of you listening, like Kona is actually uh, like when Joe said, uh, someone that we hold uh, near and dear to our hearts. That actually is not a. That's not a cruel joke towards Kona Reeves. We actually like Kona Reeves a lot in this on this podcast. Yeah. He's yes. one of the premier stars of our fantasy fantasy league. For God's sake. Yeah, multiple time champion. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on the Alpha Macho Drive-In. If you liked that video, please click like and subscribe to our channel for more content from the drive-in. For full episodes of our podcast, you may look us up on Anchor, Spotify, or wherever your favorite podcasts are available. Just search for Alpha Macho Drive-In. And if it's not too much trouble, would you help us out here? Spread the word, share. We would really appreciate it. Thank you. We love you. Bye.